Isabel Kingston woke up screaming. As she gasped for air, she looked around her bedroom loft, trying to ground her senses. Chair. Dresser. Nightstand. Each item she named pulled her out of the scraps of the dream and back into the waking world. She dreamt of the doom crag again, standing with Verandas, defeating Baron Montclair, watching her friend and mentor give his life to save Rivenspire and perhaps all of Tamriel, waking up to find herself outside the Aeliad ruin, Darien and the others standing over her, weathering Gwendus's fury, and then watching her tears fall on the ancient stones. Isabel rose from her bed, pulled on a robe, and walked downstairs. The house was quiet. The nighttime sounds of the countryside surrounding Fell's Run drifted in through the windows. It was a peaceful time, one that had almost been taken from the people of Rivenspire. By the eight, how she missed Verandas. Not like Gwendus did, though. She loved the ancient vampire more than he ever knew, and with the ferocity of a Bosmer heart. Isabel missed the Count's quiet presence, his unassuming authority, and his astounding intellect. Verandas was a good man, even though he was a vampire, some would say. Isabel hoped the other noble houses in Rivenspire had learned a valuable lesson about her kind. Her kind. It still sounded foreign to her. Isabel had accepted that she was a vampire, had learned to live with her gift. She knew now that not every vampire was a monster, and knew how much discipline it required to stay that way. Isabel went out into the small courtyard of her home, Ravenhurst. The moon shone cold blue light into the little garden, and she thought of where Verandas had gone. Cold Harbor. Back to the maker he'd fought so hard to distance himself from the Daedric Prince, Molag Bal. Cold Harbor was the place every vampire would wind up should they die again. For her own sake, Isabel held out hope that Mara wouldn't let one of her faithful end up in oblivion. But she knew that the chances were slim to none. Thank you so much for listening. I hope you enjoyed this short excerpt. If you'd like to read the rest of the story, you can find it on my story blog. A link to the story is in the description below.